What's up, creepers and geekers? Chris, the Atari Creep here. How is everyone doing today? You know, I'm researching for this video. I say research, I just wrote a few things down. And I stumble across this shit that he can't even make up. Atari's going to make a speaker hat or something. Um, it's basically a ball cap with speakers underneath it, and you can put a microphone, and it's Bluetooth capable. Um, apparently, they come out with a whole line of things. So I'll just call it that. And they're going to market this as a new social tech thing slash for those of us who want to go out and jog and it's humid like a day like today. You can see I'm sweating because I turned the AC off so you didn't have to listen to it. I'm going to fry our brains with our, our new technology on our heads. I don't know. I guess as this develops, I'll come back to you on it. It's not video game related, but it is Atari related. But speaking of Atari and the Atari box, I promise I'm not going to keep beating this horse dead. Um... My next video won't come out until we actually have some kind of real information, something tangible, something to actually relate to you about. Um, but there are a bunch of questions and concerns and like little topics that keep coming up that I feel I need to address in the best way that I can uh, give you some of my opinion, speculate a little bit, and then pepper in maybe some fact here and there. So, without further ado... Let's get to my list here, and I did spill soda all over my notebook, so it's going to be hard to read some of this. Uh, the first thing is, is this just going to be another NES Mini Classic or Flashbacks type, type unit? And I could, I could say with no doubt of confidence, no, it's not going to be. Um, we'll get to another topic about the games here in a second, but they're mentioning it's going to be PC-based technology. Now, unless they're lying to us. I can't see a company using PC-based technology to emulate these old games. I mean, that's it's ludicrous. It's it's wasted money. Um, going on to the next topic, the games. I mean, they did say we were going to be able to play classic games as well as new games. And I think it's interesting what they said. They said new games. They didn't say modern games. So what does that mean, classic games? Are we going to get ports of the 2600, 7800, Lynx, Jaguar? Are we going to get arcade ports? Are we going to get rehashed versions of all of the above? Who knows? And what are these new games they're talking about? Are they in the vein of all this old stuff? Are they going to let homebrewers who decide to make their own version of an Atari 2600 game? Uh, like Halo 2600? Yeah, I'm just speculating again. Just throwing examples. Be played on this system? Who knows? I mean, until they come out with some information, we just don't know. So it's, it's really interesting, and especially the wordage that they use in classic and new games. So we'll get there. Don't worry about it. Um, operating system being an Android-based. I don't think that's the case either. Again, PC technology. Um, I wouldn't consider a tablet PC technology, though it is a little mini computer. It really is. Uh, but I don't think if you're going to be using PC technology, you're going to have an Android operating system. If it's going to be some kind of goofy operating system like that, I think it would be probably more Linux-based than anything, but... What do I know? I'm just a fat fuck with no teeth who likes to play video games. This is the one that really shocked me. I thought you folks were a lot smarter than this. When they first came out with the idea of this Atari box, they first announced it. They used the phrase, years in the making. Very poetic. A lot of you people freaked the fuck out. And were like, oh, this thing's been years in development? And what the heck? And why don't we have more information? And... Some people even try to use, and I say some, because it was more than one person. That when the, it's just riding on the coattails of the NES Classic. Well, how could it be? This thing's been years in the making. The NES Classic has only been out since blah, 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 blah. Guys, it wasn't, I'm sure most of you have figured this out. I hope so. But the phrase years in the making is not to be taken literal. It's, it's more of a figurative thing saying, you know, we haven't really done much. But it's taking us this long and we're finally getting back into the game. Years in the making. You know? It's not to be taken literal. Come on. Be smiling at that. Please. Now, when I heard that this thing was going to be crowdfunded, and I don't remember where I seen it, but there's a couple of different sources. I haven't seen them directly come out and say it, but if there is a source to where Atari themselves, whoever they are now, have said... This is going to be crowdfunded. Please put that down below so I can correct myself. But 
it's looking like it's going to be crowdfunded. I know that leaves a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, but the one thing I want you to think about with it, um, though crowdfunding generally produces a negative feeling because of past projects, any project, any project that's going to go on some kind of a corporate level has to be funded. And in a lot of cases, it's not generally the company themselves that fund it. They go out to corporate investors. They try to get investment. They put it out there. They show off what they think they're going to be making. And a corporate investor will come in and say, hmm, that looks pretty interesting. How much do you want? And they say, we want X amount. And they're like, well, we're not willing to do that, but I'll tell you what. At a percentage and this much return, blah, 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 we'll give you this much. And you have six months to do it. And that's our deal. And they go back and forth until they come up with a deal that's beneficial to everybody. Sometimes the investment companies get their money back. Sometimes they earn. A lot of times they lose money. That's just how it works with projects. Uh, the film industry is an excellent example of that. Crowdfunding is no different than that, except it involves people like you and me. Not some big corporate investment firm, not some whatever. Um, I think just because a lot of projects that have been crowdfunded either fizzle out, people lose money, or it comes out, it's really big, and then just kind of dies off. I think it's left a bad taste in our mouth. And there's another another reason I'm going to mention here in just a second. I, I know I'm getting there, I promise. But I'm a little less hopeful now that they're mentioning crowdfunding because I do have that stigma in my head. But I'm also trying to keep in mind that any project needs to be funded, and this is just another way to do it. It's a modern way to do it, and somebody's got to win sometime. So I'm staying hopeful, but not keeping my hopes too high. The big elephant in the room. Well, this is just another Coleco Chameleon. All right, guys, you need to fucking stop with this Coleco Chameleon shit. One, let Coleco Chameleon just rest. Let it be dead, okay? And to try to put these two in the same category, it's not only stupid, it's unfair. It's not even close to fair. The only thing that the Atari Box and the Coleco Chameleon have in common, the only things, is the crowdfunding part and an old brand trying to come back with new hardware. And it's not even the same kind of hardware. Those are the only things that these two have in common. The Coleco Chameleon... If we recall, okay, I said I would never talk about this again, but I feel it's fucking necessary. The Coleco Chameleon came out as a result of a failure. A gentleman wanted to build this thing. He bought some molds for an old console. Oh, that's another thing. It's an old Atari shell. This is a new Atari console. Whatever. And thought he would make a console out of it. Now, whether he had actually had plans on doing it, I don't know. It's none of my business. I don't care anymore. But it failed. So then he was able to get the backers of Coleco to lend him their name. This is important. They lent their name to this. Shady shit happened. It kept snowballing downhill. Coleco ran. They said, you know what? We got this brand name. It's not what it used to be, but we're still making money on it. Fuck you for being deceitful. We're pulling out. And they know it because they have a name that they can make money on. It wasn't them producing all this crap. They just happened to be a victim of that circumstance. Tari. The name is owned by somebody in the same instance, but they themselves are putting this thing together. Now, whether it succeeds or whether it fails, neither here nor there right now. I think if it's on a negative side, if it's going to do anything, it's going to come out. And it's just going to fail and move on. And people are just going to move on with their life. I don't think it's going to be... A long, drawn-out, deceitful, shady business after shady business after shady business. People pointing their fingers and saying this, and this person did that, and that person did this. It's not even going to be the same animal. It's not even going to be on the same planet. So please, Atari knows this is our name. We need to make money with this name. They're going to try to make the best product that they can. Whether it succeeds or not, that's neither here nor there. But the Coleco Chameleon and the Atari box, not even close. So, I encourage you right now, stop with this Coleco Chameleon bullshit. Okay, so, now that I got that out of the way, out of the, out of the way 
Is this going to compete with the big three? Probably not. I don't think they could touch Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. This video is going on too long now. Um, would it be nice? Sure, why not, right? Um, but I think if it does succeed, and I hope it does, it's going to be a niche thing. It's going to have its own like little market, you know, people, handful of people are going to have it, and that's that. Would I like to see Atari become a big name again? That would be amazing to have a piece of hardware underneath this television that has that little logo on it that we all love. Which leads me to my last point. I'm simply just going to call it, why not? Why not? What's the big deal? Uh, you know, if it's not your thing, if you don't care about Atari, your opinion is valuable. It really is. Um, and I'm not knocking those who don't like this idea. I'm knocking how you're not liking it. I'm knocking all the hatred towards it. So what? I mean, if it's going to fail, it's going to fail. You're right. You can point your finger and say, I told you so. But what if it gives someone else joy? You know, what if it comes out and it's not hugely successful, but does something? And it makes a guy like me happy. It makes the kid down the street happy. So what? What's that got to do with you? I'm not an Xbox fan. And yes, I know they make great products. But let's just look at it this way. I, I, I could give a fuck less about Xbox. I can't stand Xbox. But if they come out with a new console tomorrow, I'm not going to be like, it's a piece of shit. Why are they making another Xbox? You know, um, PlayStation is better, which in my opinion it is. Um, you know, people need to be playing more Nintendo. You know, Xbox is for queers and whatever. So what? Don't be angry about this stuff. It's all video games and it's all for fun. The whole idea behind this Atari box that's got my balls in a sling is the excitement of it. Atari's coming out with something new. Well, what can it be? Now we're waiting for the next update. Ooh, they showed us a picture of what it might look like from their computers. And it's it's exciting and it's fun. And Do I have high hopes for it? No, I really don't. But I hope something comes out. It's at least something I can hold in my hand and it's another piece of the history. That's really what it's all about, guys. So, regardless of how you feel about it, at least be nice about it, you know? Don't be a hateful fucking puke. The world's got too much of that. Let's show each other some love. And if it, if it fails, we'll all embrace each other and give us a big hug. If it succeeds, we'll all embrace each other and give a big hug. And, you know, that's really all I got to say about that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I got another video that I was going to actually tag at the end of this, but it's a whole other subject that's based on this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a milk and cookies. and probably up upload it in a couple of days so thanks as always so much for watching i've noticed my channel has grown quite a bit since all this atari box has been spoken of and that hyperkin 77 um i've gained over 100 new subscriptions and i might have mentioned it in a past video i might not have i don't know but either way thank you all so much for coming aboard i hope you like what you're seeing go ahead and check out a lot of the older stuff and of course, to those of you who have been around forever, thank you, as always. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. You know, I mean, what would be the point of doing this if you didn't? I mean, I probably still would do it, but regardless, you guys are awesome. So go ahead and leave feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback's positive. Is there anything that I missed? Leave it down in the comments below. Maybe we'll do a follow-up to this after the next update. And uh, that's it. I hope everyone's doing well. Take care. Fuck off with that Coleco Chameleon bullshit. Let it die. Hey, what's up, folks? The Creep here. Thank you, as always, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more. You can follow The Creep on social media, and feel free to reach out at any time here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Creep would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you, take care, and bye bye